Do you guys honestly think that if I put walls along this road, that it would prevent zombies from moving in at all? Or do you think they would just naturally walk in from, like, the entrance and just clutter it, which would then just mean I wouldn't have anywhere to really drive my truck to avoid hitting the zombie? I don't know. Like, do you think I should try to put the cheapy walls in here? Make a little bit of a speedway? Wait, do you put the zombies in your inventory? Yes, you put them in your pocket. <laughs> you can only hold one at a time, though. I will shred their clothes. Eventually. I need to go get that saw. It's also getting late. <laughs> you think of it like this, it's a bowling alley. I don't- what did I just get done telling you? About you don't want to run over a zombie with your vehicle. <laughs> you want to lose your truck, that's how you lose your truck. You want to lose your van, that's how you lose your van. No. Bad. Stop that. Okay. Truck parked. Yeah, this is still the same character. Crazy Julio's been... Somehow surviving a lot longer than any of us that's expected. That one is completely boarded. I almost want to board my back door just to really... I've had zombies knock in there, but... I kind of like the option that that's an escape. I don't know. It's both an escape and an entrance for zombies, so it's like... It's conflicting. I sip, chat. I sip. Let's get a 4x4. What do you think my truck is in real life? Apparently I don't make four-wheel drive trucks and zomboids. I need to get my saw. Where's my saw? Saw. Must be in that other container. Hmm. Yep, garden saw times two. That's something that I did not want to not be in my inventory, but it somehow found a way to do that. Uh, we can go read an advanced farming book. Yes. Do I have an advanced farming book? Can I become the ultimate Kona? Oh, I can! Yes. Let's go do some exercises and become a swole farmer. Who's with me? Fence off my backyard, you started the stop. Yeah, you, you missed it, Whiskey. Where were, you, where were you when I needed somebody with a brain? Hold on. Where were you when I needed somebody with a brain? I asked chat. I said... Should I use the cheaper wooden wall, which is a too high wall, which will break line of sight, and use that instead of these four log each walls? And, and chat's like, no. Build the harder one to build. Build the one that will literally break your spine and take days to build. So, fucking chat. <laughs> you can blame chat for that one. So I've been stacking logs over there to get my advanced carpentry book, which I have now. So I can go build that wall. What up, Biscuit? You pushed a zombie, but it managed to bite your character as it fell on the floor? I have watched people play this game recently, and they sneak up on zombies thinking, Oh, I'll push the zombie. The zombie will fall over, and then I'll kill him. What have I learned? Never push a zombie from behind. Because what will happen is... It will not go down, and it will, it will like, recoil very strangely and stay super close to you and, 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 and essentially be, like, within biting range. If you're behind a zombie and you have a weapon, swing it. Do, don't push him. Is it an instant death? If you get bit, there's a setting where you can make it so if you ever have the zombie infection, you just immediately die. But by default, if you get bit... You are guaranteed dead, and it'll take like a day or two, and you'll die. If you get scratched, there's a percentage chance that you'll die. So yes, if a zombie bites you, you are dead. You have to stay the hell away from every zombie. Or murder them, and just be very careful. This game is very permadeathy. Don't fuck up. Nope, there is no cure. You have, you have it, you're dead. <laughs> you have it, there is no solution. 
I'm with, I guess I should work out first. Let's drop this. Unequip this. Exercise. It's time to get our exercise in, chat. So, but the thing is, if you don't want to play, like, with super permadeathing in mind, the game gives you an option where when you die, you can respawn in the world with a new character, and it'll maintain everything in that world, but you lose all your stats, all your skills, but you could go find your your, your previous character zombie, kill him and loot him, and you could also, like, go back to wherever you were basing. No, you can't cut off your arm or leg. There's a mod for that, I heard. So, like, if you got bit on your arm, you could lop your arm off. But I don't know what that would do to the rest of the game. Like, would everything be slow? What, what happens if you become a walking chicken nugget? And by walking, I mean rolling, because you have no arms and no legs, and then you're just a nugget. <laughs> what about leg day? You don't need legs when you got these arms. <laughs> I don't need legs with anchor arms, baby. No, I, I've been avoiding uh, the the leg exercises at the moment. I'll eventually do them, but I've just been keeping my legs not exercise fatigued because I like being able to run away from a zombie. Uh, when I have exercise fatigue in my upper arms, combat's a lot harder, but at least the option's there to run. I just don't want to slow myself down. I don't know. I don't want to find myself in a situation where I can't run fast enough to get the fuck out of town. I guess is the way to, to look at it. Yeah, just me being paranoid. Uh, just eat the whole radish. Kind of cool if there was a Twitch Play type of integration. I'm 99% sure there is. I'm pretty sure there is. There's also a journal mod, but it's like a skill save. But if you... But if you lost... If, wait. It you lost your journal will start over. Wait, what? Equip this. Go back to reading the book. What do you mean, whiskey? It's also a journal mod. It's like a skill save. Oh, do you mean like if you, like if you know things, it's a, it's like a book that you could read later for another character or something? A culmination of your knowledge. The game is still alpha, so they might add a cure later. I'm gonna assume they probably won't. I don't know. I think these devs like to punish you. <laughs> they like to make you suffer. I don't know about that. I, I think death will stay permanent. Or zombie being infected would be permanent. What do you think, chat? You think they'll ever add a cure? I don't think so. Also, my fresh roast gives me 69 hunger. Nice. All you need to cure is a golden apple and a potion of weakness. <laughs> yes, what he said. I'm gonna speed up time a little bit. I'm gonna keep reading. No cure? I mean, if you think about it, in the base game, you always have the ability to go back to where your character died. Is there really a purpose to, to, to curing it? Is there really a purpose to making a cure? I don't know. You update the journal every so often. You have to find the journal and a pen. It's kind of neat. This is a very jamming sleepy time song. <laughs> Alright, it's almost 10. Alright, it's 10. Very tired. Not extremely tired yet. Let's see, you're anxious because of Siggies. Alright, let's play slow. Let's smoke and go to sleep. I'm going to need to get out there and kill some zombies and look for cigarettes. Uh, I have like 50 in my storage, but... We've been just surviving for so long lately. I've been going through Siggy's pretty quick. It's like usually two-ish a day. Oops, no, sleep. Sleep in the bed. Acquire sleep. It's gonna be so sad if Julio dies. Yep. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. And that's the ride. Because every stream could be Julio's last stream. One simple mistake. And dead. Stupid mistakes, man. Stupid mistakes, or, or whatever he said. Whatever the meme is. I haven't checked the Jenny in a while. What do you mean if he dies? It's a matter of when. Wow. Fuel's at 31, which is totally fine. Condition's gone down about 10% since we've uh, 
fixed it again. Might be time to go scrap those zombies' digital watches and try to get electric scrap to ensure that I have everything I need to repair this. Like, I do have scrap at the moment, but we've learned that, like, five scrap repaired 20-ish durability. So, it's gonna go pretty quick. Uh, we still have a decent bit of food on us. Let's just eat this. We have the saw. I guess let's go check Rainbow Road outside. Let's go let's go check the road. I'll put the book in my backpack. Just to lighten my lighten my load here. I like to run out of my door in case there's a zombie like right beside it. Cause I know if you run past a zombie and you're close, you can sort of push them out of the way. Getting corner camped by a zombie in an isometric game is kinda like one of my biggest scares, biggest fears. There's always the mystical second gas station we can never get to. If I really wanted to now with like the vehicles, and since I kind of understand a lot more how zombies move than when I first played, I could probably get into that gas station. But right now I've not had a need to. The The gas station that we have is, is a lot more isolated, and it's worked really well. All right, let's go through, make noise with the truck, pull any zombies that need to be pulled. I heard something. And then work on the bridge a little. The bridge, the road. No zombie bodies in here, which is making for some nice travel. God, I love the fact that I took the time to make this road. It's so worth it. I think we're good. You like my sirens chat? The lighting? It looks like looks like I have sirens on my truck. Watch out, SpongeBob! He's right behind you. Wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Only gamers know. Only gamers know. What up, God's tits? Volks has gone insane. Shut up, God's tits. Also, hey, Gods, you got gifted a sub, bro. Oof. <laughs> Oof, pal. Oof. All right, carpentry. Wait. Wait a minute. Don't tell me my hammer... My hammer's gone! Which one of you flatfoot stole my hammer and my saw? Son of a... I always have a hammer on me. Well, at least we have this one. Okay. I thought we were gonna have to go home, but we're good. Carpentry. Floor. Floor. He's just standing there! Menacingly! <laughs> you fucking what? Yeah, you got gifted a sub yesterday. I forget who though, but you got you got caught in a gifted bomb. There's the exercise fatigue. Gotta watch that. And dude, I just thought about it, but the XP we're getting now compared to the XP we were getting. 605.25. 611! Whoa! Wooden floors are great XP. Oh my god. Today I learned. Wooden floors are decent XP. Today we learned. Country road time? Yes, chat. I need you to sing the song. Wowee. Wowee. Red9, instead of subbing themselves, is gifting a sub to catch up is best. Nice. Red9, thanks for gifting. Ketchup is best a sub. Just think, there's some guy out there right now that's got no fucking clue what just happened. <laughs> oh my god, look, I can... <laughs> I'm surfing on the wall! I'm skateboarding! Woo! I was using it to see if I could see zombies, but... This works, too. Wow! <laughs> All right, today I learned that's a thing. To All right, today's a learning day. I just keep learning things. Wowee! Interesting. Interesting. Shut up, Hansen. Uh, let's put this there. <laughs> Red nine, thank you very much for subbing, my dude. <laughs> what a goofball! Thank you very much for subbing, Red. I appreciate you, my guy. Some love in chat for Red nine, meme lord extraordinaire. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. 
Gift him a sub to ketchup is best. I mean, like wow. I said, I agree. Ketchup is the best. It is It is the universal condiment. And it gets the job done right. Gods, what are you gifting subs for? Oh, yeah, look, it shows you right there, Gods. Apparently, Wizard got you. But, uh, Gods, thanks for gifting five subs. Wow. Appreciate it. Some love in chat, some Volk's gifts for God's tits. Thanks, my guy. Much wow. appreciated. Zombie Hawk Pro Survivor. <laughs> Pretty much. Wait, did you just wow sub your, to yourself? Wait, what? No, I didn't. What do you mean? Oh, the ketchup thing? Okay, alright. Maybe I, maybe I just missed something. I don't know, Courtney. Don't ask too much of me. I ain't too bright. I'm making a road out of wood. Clearly, I'm not smart. <laughs> But again, th th this wooden road thing has worked extremely well, so I can't say I'm, I'm complaining. When it catches on fire one day, then I'll cry. But until that day, we make do. Saw me hanging smoke chat the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a while ago, wasn't it? Uh, remind you that elephant massacre I did in Rim? Bro, when are you going to let that one go? Sometimes you just have to sacrifice an animal in Rim World. You know? It's just RimWorld. It's, it's, that's just the nature of the beast. It is better when an elephant dies than when a colonist dies. Right, Lapsus? I don't know if Lapsus is here, but... <laughs> Never forget Lapsus, the elephant that died to a Luciferium addiction. Never should have happened, but he found his way in the fridge with the Lucy. And he died. Rip. We'll never forget poor baby elephant Lapsus. Sad days. He was just born, and then immediately ran into my fridge, which he wasn't allowed to, and ate the Lucy, and then died. What up, crazy? How you doing, man? You uh, you see your character still ticking? Crazy Julio here? That elephant ate my Lucy? Yeah, he ran in my fridge, which was a disallowed zone for elephants, so I don't know how that happened in the first place. Then he ate the Luciferium instead of just eating the food that was in there. So then he just had to die because I wasn't going to feed an elephant Luciferium because I can't afford that. I ain't rich. Why do you think I'm so bloodthirsty on that? <laughs> Fucking lapsus. He was alive for a whopping like three days before the OD killed him. The lack thereof killed him. You're fine with it? It wasn't even eaten? Volks left the planet before he could butcher me. I served my purpose. He was able to escape. <laughs> Spoken like a real Rimworld animal. Yes. Yeah, you, you, you surprised, Crazy? I mean, I can always go run the Crazy Julio into a horde of zombies and kill him. If, uh, if you don't want to live on this planet anymore. Uh-oh. We got some neighbors. We got some neighbors, chat. Hey, neighbors. I'm, like, in extreme pain because of exercise fatigue, so, uh, I gotta watch this. Howdy, neighbor. How, howdy diddly. Hey. Okay. All right, I got two of them. Our backs are more than clear. Let's go! Exercise fatigue to war! Oh, one hit kill. Nice. Never mind. And here I thought exercise fatigue would have made that difficult. He's got a wife beater! End him! Wife beaters, weird chimp. <laughs> I don't know anybody that actually wears those. They always have such a negative connotation about them. Dingleberg. Mr. Rogers in a bloodstained sweater. <laughs> uh, wooden floor. What's my uh, XP at? Oh my god, I've gotten like 200 XP since I started today. Oh, wooden floors are, are fat XP. I did not know. I can't wait till I can build like a flight of stairs because what I'd like to do is build two high walls and then put a staircase on the side of them so I can look over the wall to see if there's zombies on the other side. And I can use it like a, like a guard outpost in a way. Dinkleberg. This is where I'd put my trophy if I had one, but instead I fucked up and had a kid, Timmy. <laughs> if 
I had a dollar for every time my dad said, if you didn't exist, I would have this. I would not be a professional. I would not. I would not be streaming. I'd be rich. Did I get a permit for that structure? All right. Listen here. I am anti-establishment. I think permitting is bullshit, and it's literally just the city trying to make money off of you. Fuck permits. Down with permits. Up with the apocalypse. <laughs> Cities literally just permit everything because then you have to pay the city money. They don't permit it because they're worried about your safety. No, no. No. They just want your money. Let's be real. Let's not lie to ourselves. Oh, we're hungry. Are we losing weight after all this workout? <gasps> we're gaining weight! Oh my god! We've done it! We've gained a Kentucky unit! We've gained a Kentucky unit, we're not- Yes! Dude, I spent the last month whittling away to nothing. It was all the McDonald's that Lynn brought home, chat. I'm telling you. All I have to do is just keep eating an entire radish every day. The radish strat is working. Poggers. Bulk's fat. I have spent the last, like, month plus losing weight eating rabbit and fish stew with cabbage and carrots and, and radishes and salt and... Oh, how? I'm, I'm shocked to see that I have gained weight, and I love it. Alright, let's move some things around here. Are we fat now? We're getting there. I think 80 Kentucky units is the base weight in the game. Let's put water in my inventory so I'm not thirsty. My dude auto drinks it. Carpentry, floor... I have a 13 plank, so we have a lot of a lot of floor to make here. I'm sure that isn't muscle mass? Nah, it's just fat. <laughs> Game doesn't discriminate against muscle mass or fat. As far as I'm aware, weight is weight. A radish a day keeps the malnourishment away, pretty much. All right, what I want to end up doing is I want to make this road go down here because there's a, uh, a highway there and then we're, we're like free of any vegetation. And there's also a path out there. It might be a little bit overgrown. We'll have to see. Now Volks will become obese. Yeah, watch. I'm going to have the opposite problem and I'm going to just gain extreme amounts of weight. Calling it now. So what's being a fat ass for? Uh, there's, there's like negative traits. If you're overweight, it'll lower... All right, so actually, I don't I don't know. If you start overweight, I know your fitness will be lower, but I don't know what happens. Like, when you lose that weight, your fitness doesn't go back up. You have to get those levels, but your character's no longer considered overweight. So I don't know what happens in a game if... Make Mortar and Pestle? What the fuck? I've never seen this ever. Um... Anyway... Uh, I don't know if, like, you lost weight, if you then would be penalized in terms of your stats, or, or what. I don't know how that works. So I know what a Mortar and Pestle does in real life, but, like, what can I do with a Mortar and Pestle in-game? Like, what's what's the purpose of it in the game? Do maybe I, like, forage things and grind them up? Can I make my own salt? Let's go! I can grind the salt out of the zombies. <laughs> I love how that sapling gives little fucks about my wooden road, right? It's a sad story, isn't it? You get tired faster? Oh, I guess that makes sense. So if you just went overweight, you'd, you'd have, like, trouble running long distances. You'd get exhausted quickly. We'll just turn these trees into road. This is perfect. Uh... Um... I'm clicking on this tree and nothing's happening. Is my axe okay? Ah! My axe broke! No! Alright, well, we've had a good day, but we gotta go get some wood glue. The axe is dead! Fs. Axe Chan! Actually, hold on. There might be wood glue in here. No. What happened was we moved everything. Because we, uh, we just robbed a bookstore. I think what ended up happening was, uh... I, oh, there's a zombie right there. I accidentally 
some of the supplies I typically keep in my truck. Axchan 2.0, it's okay, we have the technology, we can fix her. Hello, um, um, Rihanna. Welcome to the stream. Drive, drive. We must save the axe quick to the hospital. She's bleeding out. <laughs> save axe Chan. Save axe Chan. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Am I building a wilderness road? Yep. I am so tired of the dreaded sapling stopping my giant vehicle because it's a sapling and it's stronger than I am. Where's my wood glue? I think it's in the other spot. If you don't know, like, if a car touches a sapling, it basically stops. And it's ridiculous. And it sucks. Uh, is it this box? It's this box. Wood glue. We should have, yeah, we should have plenty of wood glue. All right, Axe Chan. 60% repairs. Go! Axe Chan's back at 60% condition. Huzzah! All right, we're just going to repair it that much for now. Uh, I will put all but one away. So I can put this wood glue in the back of my truck. So that way in the future, if we're out and about, and we have the time, we can fix it instead of just switching weapons. Go, 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 go. Does it still make the awful grinding noise if the car touches a sapling? I don't think it has. It just it just slows down and you can hear like your engine bogging down. Like here's a sapling. Let's see what happens if I hit it. No, it's just this is extremely slow. Whoa! Karen, this is not Starbucks. This is my farm. Get out of here. Bad Karen. <laughs> no lattes for you. <laughs> I don't know how she got so far into the farm. Maybe she completely followed me out of the woods? There was one zombie at the end of the road that was on us. Where'd that one go? Eh, he's driving here, he's looking for something. There, there's this one. This one we saw. Lady! Get off my road! The whole point was I don't want to run over you people. Come on. Get out of here. No zombies in the streets. Oh, my axe glitched. Well, not glitched, but when it broke, it unassigned itself from my hotbar. Okay. Put it back. Any tips for a newbie? You're gonna die, get over it. <laughs> just play a few characters and don't give a shit about them. Like, at all. And just experience combat because combat is incredibly finicky at first until you understand it but once you've understood combat a bit books and tv shows in the beginning of the game are very very important because they are really really quick and really really free levels because like in a few days the tv stops airing shows and if you watch the tv every i think six hours you can get some ridiculously nice levels and then you can carry that on the rest of your run. Books and TV shows are super important. If you ever find a book called How to Use Generators, wet yourself in excitement because you, you can go a really long time without finding one and you need one to use a generator. I, I don't use knives because they break and stuff and spears, but if you find a crowbar, you're going to find yourself loving it because it lasts forever. Not Not forever, forever, but... I think it is one of the longest lasting weapons in the game. Which is really nice. How long should you stay in your starter house? You probably shouldn't. Um, you pretty much want to loot what you can. Like, make sure you grab the food that's there. There's usually a can opener. Usually, not always. Like, grab the can opener and the food and scoot and boogie and just go start exploring and looting. Yeah, life and living channel. Uh, it really, it's just going to be a whole lot of you getting accustomed to the UI. Because this game is incredibly, like, nuanced and detailed. And you're just going to miss a lot of things. Cars are really nice, but they're going to they're gonna take some, uh, some work to get going. But once you have one, they're really freaking nice. Don't run over zombies with them. They'll die. The car, not the zombie. 
Uh, sheets are your friend. Pull sheets off of windows, curtains. Use them to put on the window to block line of sight so zombies can't see you when you're in your house. Line of sight is incredibly important to understand. It's like, in the beginning, I really had no idea. I was very confused why zombies were still seeing me. Even though I was crouched and behind a fence. You really just, you gotta get used to, like, zombies have a certain radius that they can see you, and they got friggin' hawk eyes and eagle ears. Hawk eyes, eagle ears, bunny ears? Yeah, bunny ears, rabbit ears. Zombies will hear you farting from a mile away. Oh yeah, and don't don't use a gun until you, you kind of understand things because when you, when you do use the gun, you ring the dinner bell. Maybe maybe if you are intentionally ringing the dinner bell, sure, but yeah, stick to melee. Space will space space words, dude. I don't know. I can't fucking talk. <laughs> space will push a zombie. All right, no, no, you know what? Hold on. The biggest tip I can give anybody, and it was something that I read before I played this game, options. I think it's accessibility. Is it accessibility? Is it display? There's a setting in here. Where was it? Where, where Where's the thing to highlight zombies? What's What's the option, chat? Where is it? What's it called? I forget. It's something you absolutely should turn on. And if you don't turn it on, you're missing out. What am I looking for? I forget what it's called. I, I, for, I forget what it was called. I thought it was accessibility. Aim, yeah, aim outline. Where's where's aim outline? Aim right right here, right here. Display aim outline. Set it to any weapon. If you didn't set that, you're missing out. It makes it so when you're aiming and a zombie's close enough, as soon as you're able to hit them, it'll draw an outline around them. Otherwise, you kind of just got to get a feel for it. But it makes it really easy to know what zombie you're gonna hit. Because when zombies pile up and they're like on the ground and, and you're killing a lot, it'll get real confusing as to what zombie you're hitting. And you might just swing at the wrong zombie and just die. Because you you pushed the maybe you pushed the wrong guy. That, that was something that I just knew going into the game that I wanted on, and I don't see myself ever turning that off. Aim outline is not something that's like apparent. They don't, they don't talk about it. It's just it's in the settings and. Absolutely, fucking lootly. Turn it on. What up, Holio? Holio, you're, you're, you're a survivor for now, man. Until you inevitably get bit and die, you, you were... You were doing work, pal. We're, like, coming up on three months of you being a thing. You're two months and 18 days. How, how does that make you feel, Julio? But yeah, like, my first few characters, I just treated as, like, lol, I don't care. I just want to feel the game mechanically, and, like, I ran out, and I was just curious, like, how does combat work? How does it feel? And you gotta get used to the UI, and it's like, how far away can this zombie see me, and how do I lose him, and, yeah. Like, my first few characters are just kind of throwing caution to the wind. You just, just don't care about them. Just, just use them to learn. Just go get yourself killed. It's pretty much just go find a zombie and like interact with it and see how it feels to fight one. So that way when you do inevitably fight one on a character you care about, you're not like, oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck, what do I do with zombie? <laughs> it is. It, it, this game is a ridiculous learning curve. Yep. There's a lot of little things. I mean, I've I've only got like 60 hours I think now already in it. I, I've, I've, been, I've been dumping hours into it, but... It, it's just a lot. You just gotta gotta learn. Really, it is. The UI is a big one. It's just there's so many little things that you don't even know that you're supposed to interact with until someone in chat says, "Streamer, you're doing it wrong. Press the button," and then you press the button. You're gonna turn into a hobbit. <laughs> yeah, your spine is just kind of compressing because I'm making you lift things. Yep. Uh. In, in terms of skills, don't sleep on tailoring. Everybody sleeps on tailoring. You can put leather strips or sheets on some of your clothing. And it increases your protection, which if a zombie bites me, I have like a 33% chance of my arm of not getting bit. Not a guarantee, could still get one hit bit and die. But there's that slim chance that maybe you get lucky. Not me. I don't get lucky. 
I die everything to everything. <laughs> Did you build that homestead out there? The the farm itself is is pre-built, but like I'm building farms there and like parking cars and I'm building this road because if you survive long enough, overgrowth happens in the world and it it messes with your vehicles and stuff. So by making a road, I'm kind of preventing the overgrowth, which is my idea. I'm making my own road. Can you die from becoming an old fuck? No, I don't think you can actually age. Don't think that's a thing. Also, time in this game pass is extremely slow, so unless you're just speeding through it with fast forward, it would take a lot of real time to actually, like, get... F Get far enough to die, I guess, of being old. You've died 30 times or so and learned more every time? That's pretty much how it's gonna be. That's, that's pretty much how it goes. I think this is my fourth or fifth character. My first two was literally just me running outside, shoving zombies to feel how it is to interact with a zombie. Screwing with the UI just to kind of get a feel for it. My third character, I lived at least one day, but I got bit right away because I still didn't understand how to, how to like fight. But then I, then I figured it out because I, I was aiming wrong. Like I guess this is a, this is a thing that I fucked up and didn't understand. Don't put that circle on the zombie's head when you're fighting them when they're walking. Put it at their feet. Treat like that line is their body. I don't know. I was aiming that circle at their head, thinking I was like, I don't know aiming at their head. It just seemed clear to me that you should put the circle on the zombie, it's your crosshair, but that's not it at all. When the zombie's on the ground, though, you can use the circle to aim, but when they're walking, just put the line, or put the circle at their feet. That was something I did not understand. And and if you do, if you put the circle on their head, like I was, you'll, you'll swing in the wrong directions and you'll miss sometimes. And that's what got me bit the first time. I didn't know that. And then I think Waffles told me, he's like, yeah, put that at their feet. And I was like, oh, that, that doesn't make sense, but, but it does. You like the spice? Nice, Shelton. Any spicers in chat? I wonder if anybody in chat besides like my, my regular viewers even remembers what that's from. Who remembers what spice is from? Spice is love, and spice is life. Carpentry floor. Well, of course you know, Julio. You've been here. You're not supposed to answer for the people who don't know. <laughs> love me some Gungeon. I miss that game. It's just it didn't do super good on Twitch for a while. So I had to stop. But Gungeon's great. I They, they nerfed it, Chad. Did you know that when we, when we did one of those runs with Spice and the Shovel... They changed it. I don't remember if it's that you just can't shovel up spice anymore or what. But do you remember how I had an infinite spice run? And I one hit the lich at the end of the game with, with like, the starter pistol? They, uh, they did away with that so you can't, like, do an infinite anymore. And it's sad. Yeah, Gungeon's got such a great theme song. Alright, so I'm super sketched out with these trees. Oh, there's a zombie. I want to delete the trees, or I could make my pathway go down and then through. I'm like, either way, this is good. As long as I get on that road, I'm fine. I'm gonna go kill this zombie. Hello, zombie. Nice, nice, uh, nice hoodie. Without the hood. Nice sweatshirt. Did you just die? I get that I'm sleepy, but come on. You got briefs. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go sleep or go home. We're, we're tired. We've been doing a lot of work today. It's been a it's been a busy day on the farm. Let's put the book in my inventory. We can read the book when we go home. But yeah, books and the TVs are like the most important things early on. Grab a book, sit in front of the TV, read the book while you're watching the television, and get your free levels. Oh my god, look how fast I can go, Chad. I'm going 60 mile an hour because of my road. 
That's so much faster than being off-road. It's literally twice as fast. So glad I decided to do this road thing. It cuts down on a ton of time wasted every day. Zombie check. Mod check. Zombies. Nopers. Hopefully there's no zombies breaking my door back here in the back of the house like I keep worrying about. Looking good. Looking good. Inventory looking good. Need to fill my water. There we go. Oh, oh, I was still filling. There we go. Guess I could go exercise again and read the book and hit the hay. We still got food. Might need to harvest some carrots and stuff. No fucking dragonfly and why are they your creepy uncle? Uh, it harkens back to a day when we played a video game that we no longer play. Uh, realistically, channel points have kind of taken over the purpose of the old ranking system. Not to mention if you use exclamation point uptime it doesn't show anything because the bot broke and I don't know why and I've updated it and it still broke so yeah <laughs> about that. If Twitch would just finally give me the ability to see people's channel points and like their hours just like the old school bots and stuff used to do then I would just delete that system, the old one. There's no point in having it. We're gonna do some push-ups. Gonna make our arms nice and thick. Yeah, it still says we're offline. It's so dumb. <sighs> yeah, we've been live for offline for months. I don't know what's going on with the bot. All right, exhausted and tired. Got to do your push-ups, chat. Got to increase your strength. 18,000 XP. Hey, we were like 16k last time I looked. Still, getting 60,000 XP is, uh, that's quite a ways away. <laughs> I think chopping trees was giving me strength, too, if I remember. Man, my axe skill, I didn't even notice. We're four on the axe skill. Let's go. I can't wait until, like, we have an occasional one hit on zombies, but I can't wait till my axe skill is so high that I basically almost always one hit a zombie. That's just gonna be nuts. It'll save me durability, and it'll save me time. Uh, every five minutes, Dumpy? Probably like yesterday. <laughs> Uh, grab backpack. Let's grab out on my carrots. Equip my backpack. Nothing like some carrots after a workout, huh, chat? Yum yum. Eat the whole thing. Just Bugs Bunny that shit. And then let's read some farming. And sit on the floor. Get rid of this exhaustion. Streamer! I need smoke! You need a ciggy? I got you. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of sucks that the bot hasn't been tracking hours in the channel. Because, I mean, if you do exclamation point beef, you can see how many hours you have before it stopped tracking. Or, before, yeah, before it stopped tracking. Because some people got some big beef in chat, but it doesn't show it anymore. They get stopped updating, I guess. Do a beef check, check, chat, exclamation point beef. Yeah, Janie 405 hours, yeah, 206 for blue. Move to streamer bot, seems to be working if I want to crack at it. I mean, the only thing I use Volksbot for is commands into banned spam bots, so honestly, I don't really care much about the bot system. That, that's the only purpose it really serves. Rusty with like, well over a thousand, what a gamer. <clears throat> Alright, who, who's got more hours than Rusty? Okay, Miri's got more hours, Drondia has 1.4k hours. 
Anybody in chat have more than Drondia? Check your beef, Lynn. Let's see your hours, Lynn. Oh, that's right, Lynn's, um... Lynn's numbers are fudged, so never mind. Come on, Lego. Lego, I know you're out there. Exhibition point beef. Actually, I don't think he is here. <clears throat> I check your beef, but I don't think he's here right now. Oh, the Athena's got a thousand. Thalric's got almost four hundred. But again, it hasn't been tracking your hours for months, which sucks, and I don't know why. And it and it's sag. Volks, check your beef. No, I don't want you looking at my beef, you weirdo. Yeah, here. <laughs> Streamer, we demand removal of bot. Get him, Volks bot. Ban him. Ban his ass. <laughs> Get him, Volks bot. <laughs> Remove bot. No, I'd sooner have the bot remove you. Smile. Stop demanding things. Yeah, get up, Miri. I'd like to have this book read before we, we uh, farm anymore. I want that XP boost. Carpentry. 1279. We are very close to the next level. What level do I need to be stairs? Six? Jeez. They go up, they go down, and zombies do too. It's gonna be a little bit before we can do stairs. Oh, I can do a door frame. I didn't even notice that. I thought I needed a higher carpentry for some reason. Needed three for the door. Oh, I can make a double door. A double door large enough to let vehicles pass. It's six carpentry. That sounds like something we need to do, and then we, like, gate the road so zombies stop going down it. I don't know. Anything to be be done with zombies ruining my fun. Up, up, the, the, the mods are going ham. <laughs> the mods are going ham. Volk's ban in chat. The mods are going. Get them mods. That's also more door for zombie to go through, probably. Throw away my lid, put the recycle bin, chew in the trash. What mods? It's Volksbot? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it's Volksbot. Hey! <laughs> Some of them is. You don't even know what's going on. Um, people are getting smote by the bot. Smile. Alright, actual human person and shellatan, simmer down. Simmer down before you get bonked for good. <laughs> 